Hello, I'm Johnny Ferens with Singer Agronomics, and today I'm with... Oh, I'm Rob Shortell from Agmerica. Awesome, we're here today. We're gonna to start diving in more uh, with sea kelps and some of their functions between three different stages. So we have our beginning stage, middle vegetation stage, and reproductive stage. All right, so we're here for the first part of the series, uh, and we're gonna talk about what we need to be doing or what we need to be looking for uh, when we first initially uh, apply seed kelps, if that would be the in furrow treatment, possibly a two by two, um, or even a seed treatment. Now, <clears throat> I understand the field we're standing at today, I mean, we're standing in V5 corn, uh, but we had a great opportunity to take Robert out to this field. So let's rewind back in time a little bit and go through when this planter was coming across the field. Okay, where can we be utilizing a sea kelp and what are we gaining by putting that in the furrow as a seed treatment, etc.? Yeah, definitely, Johnny. Uh, this is a great time, uh, I think, to walk the fields because we're starting to see this transition from that start early timing into these, these more grow phases when the plant's about to really start to take off. Uh, when we have these seeds planted, you know, there's the basics of agronomy. We have to get, you know, good slow planting. We need uniform seed depth because that's, that's what's gonna ultimately give us uniform emergence. But we have to start thinking of our seeds as actual individuals. So each seed is like our fingerprint. You know, to you and me, our fingers all look the same, but to a, a trained uh, expert, each fingerprint is very, very much different. So uh, every seed has a different hormone profile depending on where it was harvested from the mother plant. So what we like to do is either a seed treatment, uh, in corn, most of the time it'd be an in-furrow or a side-by-side. -side. We like to use a uh, growth-promoting kelp, okay. like an Ascophyllum nodosum, uh, you know, and we use our liquid, our 001 Asco liquid, and uh, we put this down. It has a, a uniform hormone profile that then tells all the seeds they're in the same environmental stage or the same, uh, you know, basically the same angles of development. And this will help standardize all the seeds, help them uniformly emerge correctly, even as a side-by-side. -side, you know, it'll help standardize this field and make a really uniform crop. Because uh, yield really begins with uniformity. It's, uh, it's not about the size of your ear or the size of your plant. It's about the uniformity of your field over the acre. And uh, that's where the yield records are won. Okay, so adding something like the 001, uh, which is the liquid kelp, into a starter program, I mean, the goal, the thing that we're trying to help influence is making it, uh, every seed in that field thinking it's in the exact same situation so it yeah. all comes up at the exact same time. We're trying to synchronize the field's genetic potential. Okay, okay. Well, and with that first stage, is there anything you would like to add with, um, so let's just say, we already got done putting on a seed treatment. Is there any opportunities until we get to stage two that you would see a benefit with seed kelp? Uh, the kelp in general, this is a, it depends on the environment. That's a trick question. Awesome, fair enough. So the hormones are in the plant. They're the brains of the plant. They grow, they mainly produce in the roots. They, the plant is always sensing what's going on around it, changing its hormones, and that changes the physiology. So uh, if it's really hot and dry out, It'll take all of those hormones and make the decision to grow roots into the ground. If it's really wet, soggy out, nice green weather, or green, nice uh, wet weather, <laughs> sunny weather, it'll hormones will change and it'll tell the plant to grow out above the ground. So um, you can still make changes in season or in the beginning of the season. Let's say um, there are a lot of stresses in the beginning we're gonna battle things like cold soils. Okay. Um, and that's gonna limit root growth. It's gonna limit the fungal development that helps transfer phosphorus, helps transfer some of the micronutrients. So uh, the kelps will help with the cold temperature stress. Um, there's a lot of compounds in kelp. It's not like one active ingredient. It's, it's basically a, a soup of a lot of beneficial things harvested out of, out of the sea plants. So uh, things like uh, 
drought tolerant elicitors could be in there. So if we're having a dry spring, or maybe we have a, a hard frost that really starts to hurt the plant, all of those things can rob yield potential. So a good kelp application can help reduce the effects of that. Okay, so a good stress reducer. So if we, early on in the season, if we see a lot of stressful times, kelp can help us rebalance to refocus throughout the growing season. Yeah, because stress, it's just kind of like the pivot shadow. It's not in the same place across the field. It's not uniform. So if we had a, a strong wind coming in from the north and we had some dry down there, but we have, you know, a wet soggy patch over there for some earlier rains and then a low area back there where some of the frost really settled. This is changing the hormone profile of the field. And, we're, you know, I'm a plant guy, so <laughs> I, I think we're growing this one plant. But farming's different than botany. Yeah. Uh, in farming, what we're really trying to grow is a uniform field. So those applications of kelp, the hormone concentration in the kelp packages are so much higher than the hormone concentration in the individual seed. Okay. You know, this has been concentrated and it's sprayed onto the plant. So what we're doing is taking these minor differences that are managing the environment all around us, we're putting 10x the concentration on top of it, and now everything thinks it's the same. Okay. Well, Robert, for our first video, we, we really started going down the rabbit hole with it, yeah. which I really enjoy. The good news is we have two more videos talking about the next two stages. So, you ready for us? Guys, thanks for watching the content so far. We've got a whole lot more on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, uh, YouTube. Subscribe there. We put a ton of content on there that's, that's useful and have applicable information to help on your farms and day-to-day -day life. So go ahead, hop over there. If you want more information, check us out there.